<laughs> it's life with B Fab. One thing about this for me, Marapo, shame number one. <laughs> Marapo. <laughs> Hi to our other mother. Hello, other mother. Hello. Yes. Mother number So, so. This is our part. Away, away, hon. Away. Ay, this day is gonna like sell. Here we go. More birthday in Savannah like sell. Hello, hello, Olona. Hello, 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 Manyeke. 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 Hello, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is B Kaba. For those who do not know me, to all my subscribers, my honeybees, welcome back home. Welcome back home. I'm at my mom's place. It's a Saturday. Is it a Saturday? Yes, it's a Saturday during the day. I think it's about two o'clock. It's Morena's birthday, my sister's son's birthday today. He's turning okay. two and we thought um Arazi Pizzaniana something something the birthday cannot just go by without us celebrating the young man in this house. His name is Uroriseng Morena. So it is day today. My brother is cooking um Khatiki in pizza. Like always, those who know know, those who watch my vlogs know that my brother kills Pokikos. So today it's Marapo as always. Meaty bones, um, got three foot and your girl with big hair, big hair, big girl, big god. Oh, big god. Why am I checking the screen? I'm sorry about that. I am not used to vlogging with my camera anymore, so I keep checking myself instead of y'all instead of the lens. Okay, hey, it's easier to vlog. Well, I find it easier. Okay, that's Neo Malume Neo Malume Bobo Benegant and the pot. Kiyo di miti bonesi ukenze malume bo. Spinach. Spinach. Ukenze. The zamba ni la shota lone. La zamba ni la. Okay, that's cabbage miti bones, guys. You see, onion. Kiri miti bones. So it's a good comes race. More ki more ranfan ten to comes race. Those that stay more ranfan ten. They know. They know. They must come by. We the best. Yeah, to comes race for your meaty bones. They have meat. Asema rapo fela kati. Did you show the people your outfit? Talk about what? Oh, but home bamu dim. Okay. Atin baboni si. Nenu babona. Outfit, outfit check. I mean, I always wear these. The most comfortable. When you're at home, ne? Yeah. And the big hair. I have this with in in green, in orange, in black. My sister has it. In green. These are our go-to. 
Hey, why would you kiss it? Okay, man. Hey, oh. <laughs> these are our go-to outfits. This is what we wear when we are home and want to feel. You have all the colors. Dimpona ni, a gray, black. Hey, hey. I can buy one, get one. We wish up at the same flea market. <laughs> but yeah, it's comfortability at home. Okay. Okay. Hello, auntie. He said hi, Morena. Do for once. Hi. Oh, We get it so shy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. What a wow. Okay, happy birthday, two year old, who does not want to greet the people. Can you please say hi? Okay, bye. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, oh. wow, wow. <laughs> That's the mother of the child, mother of the groom, mother of the groom. My son, my son. My son, my son. Please say hi. Hello, Andy. Hello, Andy. How's it? Ka, ka. How's it? Ka, ka. How old are you? Two. Say two. Two years old. Good boy, ne? Bye, bye. 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 We see bye, fair. Guys, Mr. Patti, o dramatic, o dramatic. Imagine a kid from Mila Tente. Ready to bat for me to go to dramatic. Dram! What's wrong, my boy? What's wrong? I'll be more than one. Oh, ski, ski. Ski, ski. Let's go outside. Let's go. Nahana ready to ten there. Yeah, one year, two years. Invite the last child, Mr. Patty Alan. As keys or say no. Hello is so kind. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go outside. I love an amalum. Okay, Tara, kids, a kids, a moran, kids. Yeah, it's not Bye. Bye. Hi, Oiti King. Ah, all the Jerry in the house. Mother Chan. Long lost Time to eat. This is yummy. Give a Give a love at last. I'll take it. I'll shut it down. Shut it down. So we are about to sing happy birthday for the birthday boy. He is not having it. He's annoyed. He's tired. He hasn't slept the whole day. 
I can't pass it, but yeah, he's not having it. We have nice lunch. We are chilling now, singing, having drinks, and enjoying the day. Okay, I've never seen such a grumpy birthday boy in my life, okay? Why are you so grumpy? Hey? What do you want to say to your son? <laughs> I wish uh, wisdom. I pray for yes, wisdom upon his yes, life. Yes. Protection. Mm -hmm. Like God. God yes. Yes. We, yes. We, we pray so much for our kids. Mm -hmm. But we only wish the God for, for the best. Amen. So Amen. I, I, I give them to God. Yay. Bye. Bye. Say bye to the vlog. Say yeah, bye. 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 Morena, I'm not oh. going to beg you. Oh. <laughs> Bye guys, say bye to the vlog for the day. When you just want God to be comfortable in you, when you just want God, like which is you. You know when you're welcoming someone in your life and just telling them to be free and stay. Ah. Anyway, hi guys, welcome back to the second day of this vloggy. It's a Sunday morning and we are attending society, burial society, which happens every, is it every two months or every, okay, this is the second time we meet this year. But anyway, um, just to have general meetings here because of society, y'all know, now I have uniform when I joined last year, September, I didn't have uniform, I was attending all the time without uniform so today i've got uniform bra and i feel like oh my gosh oh my word what's this like i feel like me are put together you know me are in order 
guys, it's just a burial society. I am not gonna record go meeting because I mean it's not content, bro. Get let me get a So I'll see y'all after um the general meeting. I feel so naked without nails and lashes, but yeah, it is what it is, bro. I'll show you uniform or internal but so mama zimu. Yeah. To read uh, the minutes. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, Guys, we are back home. It's a Sunday evening. Preparing to go to work tomorrow. I just hope we're working from home. I'm waiting for that SMS from my boss saying you guys can work from home. <laughs> we here in Pepile. Guys, this is my Kelly weave. I don't know if you guys know. I have a Kelly, the one and only Kelly weave I have. So, in early tangled and all of that this morning, and I decided to just comb it out, you know, and then maybe during the week I'll go buy um, um, curl activator and conditioner and, and, and so I can take it back to its original position. But I, I enjoy the afro so much guys can any problem did i show you my dragon city weave let me show you please don't mind this nee, it's my <laughs> my kids Ooh, eh, it looks like chaggy <laughs> guys so i have a problem of when i take off my weave i do not take out the glue i need to get deliverance from this honestly anyway also my thingy the thing that I use to remove um, the glue on the lace, it's finished. So, I think that's why give a lazy. But I saw on TikTok that you can remove it with hot water and shampoo. And that's it. So, I think I'm, I'm going to try that. So, guys, review a week and a half or two weeks with this weave. From Dragon City. I love it so much. It's still in good condition. Soft. It doesn't tangle much. However, yeah, we um, it's why we're you see. So I struggle with this almost every time. So, but anyway, I'm happy with it. Happy, happy, happy. Um, we'll see. I'll give you a review maybe after boom. Um, Three months, I'll tell you, Hori, Hirakalam. But so far, so good. I'm trying to keep it on this mannequin. If it's a mannequin or if it's a marache, I'm going to take out this glue just before I sleep. I'm going to use that method. I go TikTok. And then I am trying to keep it here because the reason why my weaves differ, the wikitaka differ, these are in good condition. It's because when I take them off, until whenever I want to, to put them on and then get it all tangled, the kokorapani dili in bad condition. So I really want to take care of this hair because I mean, it's expensive. Guys, we spend a lot on hair. The least we could do is just to keep it um, 
keep it in good condition to st so that we can stop saying um, the hair is fake, the hair is low quality. It's how we take care of the weave, the products that we use to wash, to, to take off the glue, to keep it um, nice and silky and soft. I just need to invest in that so that I can enjoy my hair. Guys, okay, it's a Sunday. Tomorrow we are going to work or we are working rather from home or from the office. But I was talking to my friend just now saying, but um, I miss, you know, when I started working way back, many years back, I think my first job or my second job or maybe my third job. I don't remember. But way back, I used to, I used to have money, not money, money. I was earning peanuts, but it would last me throughout the month. And then the next payday, I would have some left from the last payday. But now, Bazalan, uh -uh. I don't know if it's just me not knowing how to use money, not knowing how to budget or my lifestyle. I can't afford my lifestyle or what. I, I just don't know. I think you guys, I don't know. You Please comment and tell me. Those who are working 9 to 5 or those who are just getting... Um, um, an income maybe it's your business or a, it's your nine to five or it's your youtube paying you does your income last you the whole month until the next payday to isba well isba well guru wabana none it's mampara week this coming week i got what i feel like he's like isba well please share your experiences or how you budget or what works for you because honestly it's either we are earning peanuts or we don't know how to use money. We don't know how to budget. Our lifestyle is too much. We can't afford it. You know, I, I also think sometimes I, I go to a lot of events <clears throat> which requires me to buy either tickets, food or drinks um, or an outfit to make sure that my hair is good. So that is all money. And I'm always up and down, up and down. So recently, the other day, I gave my husband um, my calendar, all my plans. And I was checking May, May, the, the like mid-April and May. Every week I was going somewhere. And that requires money. So my husband was like, yeah, oh, busy, man. But then... I started cancelling um, some of the events. Some, they don't really require much money, you know. But just always being out there is money. Stepping out. You know those videos that they make on TikTok? When you step out the house, it's money. When you step out, it's clink, clink, 250 gone. When you step out, it's money, guys. So, you know, I, I thought to myself, mm -mm, some of the things I need to cancel. Um, not because I don't want to go or not that I don't want to buy things or whatever, but I just need to come down because I am complaining again about money. I'm complaining that my salary doesn't last me the whole month, but what am I doing about it? You know, so I'm starting to make a plan. Okay, sharp. Some of the events I shouldn't go. Not all events I can go. Not all functions. Not all invitation I, I can accept. You know, then last week I canceled. Uh, my plans uh, with my other friend this week i also cancelled i was home not doing not spending anything basically i was home i saved money <laughs> if there's any anyway but anyway what i'm trying to say is that i i have cancelled for the first time ne? i am intentional about not doing something that requires me to spend money that i do not have you know or even if i have money but I'd rather save it for something else. We don't have money to fix it. You know, what, what, what are we doing about that? Are we saving money? What are we doing? You know? So I'm cancelling plans, guys. Yo, get all of our content. I'll just stay home, you know? Also, it's winter. We are exhausted, fatigue and whatever. But I'm just becoming intentional. Let me save money. Even if I don't save it, let me just stay home. If I don't have money or if if it's not that important, just stay home, you know. The coming week, the 20th, I had an event that I was supposed to go to. I cancelled that event. It's on payday, but I cancelled that event because, I mean, no, there are better things that we can do. If it's important, yes, I can go. But 
if it's like body ponte val picnic vibes what do you what 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 no some of the things i'm canceling my husband was so shocked when you're home you cancelled i'm like yes i cancelled and i'm so proud of myself because i'm doing something i don't just complain but i also need to come with the solution of whatever that's bothering me financials are um are a big part of our lives if we are not careful about it we'll drown in debt you know and also guys i mean if if i'm praying for a financial break through. I'm always praying for God to bless us with this, 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 bless us with enough money, bless us. And then I get I get when it comes to money. Um God cannot I cannot trust myself to budget and stick to my budget. I cannot um trust myself to have money and be disciplined enough um to save it and not use it use it on unnecessary things how is god gonna trust me with big things i mean it's even in the bible what's my phone let me check i think where's that scripture Erin, if you cannot be trusted with small things how can you be trusted with big things i just want to look for it is it luke or where is it um where's my bible yeah, it's in Luke. I think Luke. It's not thirteen or something like that. Luke ten. Luke. Luke. I'm preaching now, guys. <laughs> so Luke chapter. I'm preaching to myself. Luke chapter sixteen verse ten says, "Whoever can be trusted with small things can also be trusted with big things." So it means if I'm not trusted with small money, how is God gonna trust me with big things? I mean, kito na blue it must na if kito tola di millioni, and I can't even be trusted with saving ten thousand. You know, I'm just making an example. Whoever is dishonest in little things will be dishonest in big things too. I I, I budget and I'm dishonest. Ka budget ya ka ori ki I cheat on the budget. How am I gonna be trusted? Kadi budget, the lady finances, uh, big businesses. How is God gonna trust me with my husband's uh, uh, accounting, <laughs> whatever, you know? If you cannot be trusted with wealth, worldly riches, you will not be trusted with true riches. It's speaking to me, ne? It's what like I am. Preaching to myself, or I need to be trusted with the little that I'm in. The job that you are in, your business, or whatever that you do, the income that you get, do well with that. Spend it right so that you can be able to um, handle big things. Honestly speaking, if you have a whatever that they do, they blow three million in about six months. Three million is gone. It means and also they were not good value from the beginning with small money. So how are they going to be able to handle big money? So same goes with me, Hore. I need to be trusted with the small things. This is not even just about money, about anything in life. We need to be trusted with the smallest things, so that when we get the bigger picture when we get the big things we are also trusted with those ones when you are given a task be faithful on that task do it genuinely be honest with it so when god blesses you with a bigger picture with a bigger um whatever that you're doing you also be the same when you climb up the ladder Pazalwani. Hey, okay. If you cannot be trusted with the things that belong to someone else, you will not be given anything of your own. That's why I'm saying this is not just about money, it's about things. It's a life in general. If ever moto aho kadi mile chelete eno uba dishonest aho mo patele ka chelete moto uba uba problem ko ka chelete moto. How are you gonna be blessed with money? If wena ukolo ta moto aho mo patele ka na komo tuta mila ko salemo ra ko mo kadi mile chelete. You understand? Just general things, borrowing something from someone, handling someone's 
whatever in in the companies that we work for if we are not honest if we don't do our job properly what we are supposed to do at work how is god gonna bless us with other things of our own i mean we don't go to zanka business yeah when i go nine to five uno cheetah boss yeah uno say to me yeah wow every time when i think about something um there would be like a small voice telling me, oh, even the word of God, it, it refers me to the word of God. And right there and there, I get reprimanded. I get, right there and there. So, yeah, guys. Yeah? Sharp, guys. Sharp, ne? Sharp. Do that because it is a lot to pay attention to. But if you're going to stay in your lane, you're going to have to stay focused on your lane. Because the more that you shift your focus towards what's happening in another lane, little by little, you start turning the wheel. You're not even doing it intentionally. You just start turning the wheel in the direction of where your attention is. We get so busy looking at everyone else's journey that now we don't even believe in the very vision that God has given us. I need to understand the market trends. I need to understand funding. I have to know what's happening in this space, but I cannot be so consumed that I become discouraged. It's the same thing with content creation or weight loss or ministry or whatever. You have to understand what's happening. You have to understand what's moving the numbers, what helps people gravitate, what makes for an easier experience. You have to be willing to look. This is not us being ignorant and blind. You gotta do the research. You gotta understand what's taking place. But at the same time, you have to understand when it's time for you to bring your focus back to the lane that God has given you so that you can stay in your lane. It's a good morning it's another day another duel another hustle another god another miracle another blessing another everything <laughs> guys i'm closing off this vlog but so mm -mm, i'm trying not to do long vlogs just to see how short vlogs are gonna perform well long vlogs are good increase watch time but sometimes la bora hello now you la fast for water la skipper let's and let's and so yeah let's wrap it up right here so this morning ne, i woke up irritated that i had a dream and the dream was so clear like as i was sleeping the, the dream was clear and then immediately when i woke up i forgot i completely forgot about that dream and then the fact that it was clear and it felt so important <laughs> like whatever that was happening there was so important but i still cannot remember what happened in that dream and i was so annoyed that why why is it that i felt that way and i felt that it's important i felt like something is happening there it felt so real but why is it that i'm not uh, remembering the dream it's, it's it's so annoying it's and i remember my pastor Mordis Kuru once taught us that um dreams are very important and when we wake up immediately when we wake up we must write the dream down so i want to write the dream but i cannot forget i cannot remember what the dream is about i was telling Louis this morning that it's not a good thing i don't think it's a good thing that you you dream and you wake up and forget about the dream also we we think that we don't dream sometimes i don't believe in that we i believe that we dream every day every night it's just that sometimes we forget the dream or the dream is so confusing or it's not clear and my problem is just right there where the dream is not clear where the dream is completely forgotten i feel like maybe god was telling me something something important and then now like the devil is playing with my memory that um i don't remember what the dream is about yo because i still believe that the very same god who was speaking through dreams or in dreams in in the bible is still the same god 
o kila bona e men now ke tlo tsoga ke sa go pule dirimi ya ka yo jofa and there's a thing that i do every time i get papa ma when i wake up when i go to the loo or whatever in the middle of the night i'll i'd press my phone o kila bona lone e i think it's some sort of distraction like every morning i get to tla ga se ke le scroll ako di whatsapp status in ke scroll ako di ko di facebook un ko di before doing anything before praying before getting up before doing anything already na se ke le mo di social media which is wrong eh this days ka de khalemela okay oh, anyway but yeah it's important for us to to try and remember our dreams i don't know how or if we do remember the dreams we write them down because there are people that um like ba mudimu abantu so clear to them in dreams or not even people i, I believe we all have that thing it's just that maybe sometimes we feel like the 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 dreams are not from god or the dream is it's just a dream but it, it could be that god is warning you of something or talking to you about a certain thing or encouraging you about something something in life so hey dreams are very important i know my friend samba she's got a gift <laughs> yo ukla next ki bua ka gift is ours she's got that thing of um getting songs or poems in dreams in her dreams and she would wake up immediately ah papa ma she because her phone is like next to her and she's in bed she would record the song she'd actually sing the song a tshwere ke boroko yalo a record a bina bina e o a bua poem e which is a good thing because if not we play like i'll write it down in the morning or i'll record it whenever and then wa papa ma ka six o late o siwa ke transport o a far tla far tla o ya mosebetseng and then there the song is gone the vision is gone the dream is gone you didn't write it down you didn't pray even praying over the things that you you dreamt of it's very important mo dimo wetse ke ngwa bua le rona every day every minute every time the holy spirit is there is there the god did not leave uh the holy spirit for us for nothing it's there to remind us to guide us to lead us you know so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this vlog um i'm editing this it should be up um on wednesday so yeah i'll see you on my next video i love you so much guys i love um to see you guys Uh, commenting there on the comment section liking sharing spreading the word and growing this channel we are doing this together if it wasn't for all my subscribers here or for all my viewers i wouldn't be um where i am or growing this channel it's about people it's people for people you know we are here for one another to lift one another up and to hold each other's hands as we go through some of our journeys some of our dreams and um yeah okay i love you so much please remember to click on the subscribe button to become part of this honey bee family i do not know why some of you are not um subscribing because you'll definitely be left behind i am telling you guys you will be left behind while we are moving and growing this family thank you bye do you want to say bye to my honey bees okay guys wave her let's let's see your hand bye <laughs>